Uh, today we're going to talk about reporting. We're going to focus on the idle trailer report, uh, the temp history report, and then uh, Brett's going to take it over from there and talk about uh, the rotation report. So with that said, I'm just going to dive right in. Um, so uh, the reports sit under um, the middle icon, uh, kind of looks like a, uh, a chart there, uh, something that you'd uh, see in Excel. So we're going to click on that. And basically what's brought up at this point are all the reports that you have available um, to run. Uh, like I said, today we're going to focus on the idle trailer report. So the idle trailer report, let's talk a little bit on why we think we'd run the idle trailer report. Um, so basically what you're looking for in this and why a fleet would use this is to look for underutilized trailers, trailers that um, you know, maybe you're just, you know, looking for one in a particular location or um, maybe you're just saying, okay, hey, I want to see which, which ones are underutilized, which, what, what am I not using um, enough from a trailer standpoint. So that's really uh, where this is coming from. Um, what also is nice here is once you find the trailer, um, there's, uh, uh, we have the cargo sensor um, as a part of this report so you can find out if that is empty um, or if there is cargo in it. And the other nice feature that we have in here is you can uh, get directions. So um, as I was talking, you could, you could see that it was kind of spinning. So the report has run. Um, if it's something that you don't care to look at it on the screen and you would prefer um, to export, you have uh, three different ways that you can export the file, either a CSV, Excel file, or a PDF. Um, simply what that'll do, and I'll just show you, I'll click on the PDF. Um, it's going to tell you that it's um, in the process of exporting, and then it'll download it. Um, so for me, it shows right here, and then I could, um, you know, open it uh, or show it in a folder. So if I were to open it, uh, pretty much uh, a look of what you just saw just in a PDF format. So um, what's nice, too, is up on the top, you can actually sort this um, with these headers. So uh, if you get... Um, the little finger there, uh, pointer finger, you can click on those and sort any which way. Um, I think one way that I know of a couple, few companies that use it is sort by cargo. Um, so what they can do is put their empty ones right at the top of the list. And uh, from here, uh, pretty simple, uh, gives you a lat long um, and gives you a location. So if it is in a landmark, it will show up in the blue underlined. If it's not at a landmark, it'll give you an address of where it is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say I want to get this one. Um, if it's not in a landmark, so maybe I don't know exactly where that's at. If I click on the Get Directions, it's going to pull up my Google Map. shows you about where I'm at right now, and it'll show you where that trailer is. So it gives you basically point-by-point -point directions um, to that. If, what's nice about this, too, is if you are on your phone, um, you can actually open it in your... Um, your map app that's on your phone, um, it'll open right up in there. So, um, Again, this is your idle trailer report. Uh, what is actually going to be coming out um, in a couple days, we have a release coming out where the missed trailers, the idle trailers, and the empty trailer reports, all of those are going to be able to be scheduled. So maybe the idle trailer report is something you want to see every morning at 7 in the morning. That's something you're going to be able to do, and obviously we'll send out documentation on that as soon as we uh, have the um, after we release the code and have it ready to go. So um, so that's basically um, at a high level. Um, there's one thing, there's a feature in here. Um, you actually set your idle goal days. So um, let me sort by the, the idle days here. Trying to get the smaller ones. There we go. So um, this particular company, um, they're set to three days. So they want to know after three days a trailer that's been idle for those three days and then beyond that. And you can set this to whatever you want. One is the lowest we go, um, and you can go all the way up to whatever you need to. So maybe maybe idle for you is you know ten days. So you would um, you'd set that up in your your customer settings um, and you'd set that to ten days. Uh, if that's something you're not clear on how to do, um, you could work call tech support and we could walk you through how to set that up. So. Um, so with that said, uh, I'm going to move on now. We're going to go to um, the temp history report. So in the temp history report, uh, let's see. same thing. Um, the idle trailer report is actually running right now, so it's going to tell us our idle trailers. Um, 
So the temp history report, uh, what's nice about this, um, and I think what's used most for this piece of, is obviously anybody that has a temp sensor, and um, the way in which it's used is to go ahead and give you readings of temperature by trailer, um, and a trailer could have multiple temp sensors, but it'll tell you by trailer and by temp sensor um, in a range what the, what the temperature was in that range. So um, it's a really neat report. It's one that we found our customers that do have temp sensors really like it. Um, so the first step is to pick the trailer that you want um, to report on. So you can do it by trailer or by group to narrow that down. I'm going to go ahead and just say that I want all my trailers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on a particular trailer that I want. Um, and what you do here is um, you set it up. So you have a date time. So I'm going to say I want to know in the last seven days what all the readings were for the temp sensors. Um, I'm going to say my interval is an hour. Um, I'm going to filter by the sensors. So I'm going to say that I want all my temp sensors. And then from there, I'm not going to pick any start or end location. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hit search. And what this is doing is bringing up a map, and it's also bringing up uh, all the data. So uh, this trailer hasn't moved. It's probably kind of stayed in the same location. You go ahead and you see um, for each one of these across the top, you can see the name and the sensor ID. Um, but I think really what people like the most is down here, as I scroll down, is all the different readings of these temp sensors. So um, this gives you a quick look at uh, the readings of these temp sensors. Now, um, they might want to narrow this down, so I'm going to unjumble it a little bit, take a couple of these out, and run it again. There we go. There we go. So it gives a little idea of over the last seven days kind of what that temperature has done. Um, if we go into just yesterday, get a little less data, same thing. So it gives you a little more flow of kind of where the, the frozen door three, where that's kind of been. Um, you have your door seven, which is your deli, and then you have your door eight, which is deli stores too. So um, this is something that's kind of cool too that you can obviously send off. Save it as a PDF, and then same thing. You go ahead and see your list. Um, when you do export, all you get is the data. You don't necessarily get um, your map um, and your other pieces. This is a feature uh, that we'll get out there um, soon, um, but for now, with the export, that's not a part of it. So, um, really neat features, though. Uh, nice way to use it. I think the other side and the other piece that makes it real nice, and I'm going to go ahead now and get a different company up. Let me try a different company now that um, I'll show you a little bit different how uh, we can use this. So let me go ahead and get my trailer. Oops. I got the right company. I had it the first time. Pull this up. Um, I'm going to say I want to know yesterday. Um, we'll go with every hour. Going to pick the one sensor that's in there. And then I'm going to want to say, I'm going go to so pick my locations. I want to know from point A to point B kind of what the readings were. Um, so you have a trailer that has left and gone, um, you know, from point A to point B, and you want to know um, along the way what those readings were um, as it's maybe, you know, taking along some uh, some cargo with it that you want to know those temps. So um, I did this. I picked uh, two, a point A and a point B, and, you know, same thing. This one only has one temp sensor, but you can see the temperature as it's been, um, as it was moving down the road. Now, for some reason, if you want to change it to a different location, Go ahead and do that. Do a search again. And the map shows, the blue line will draw, and then same thing, you'll see um, as it moves along uh, every hour uh, in that time frame when it went from point A to point B what that temperature was. So um, 
I think that's it that we have for now with the temp sensor uh, and with our idle trailer report. Again, just two pretty nice reports that we have and kind of what they can do for you. Um, so I think that that's um, uh, a pretty awesome thing to, to take a look at. So again, we're recording this, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll get some um, you know more uh, customers that were you know uh, want to listen to the recording after. The other really nice report. Um, is one that um, really came from uh, Brett Jackson, uh, one of our um, one of our leads, our product uh, manager uh, that does a lot of work for us in the field. Um, so I'm gonna we're gonna turn it over to him, and he's going to kind of show you how the rotation report works uh, using our, our test company. To show you how that works. Hopefully, Brett, you have the ability to share now. All right, let me see. Well, I don't have access now, so <laughs> I got to take it away. All right, can you see my screen now? Yep. Looks like snow and our clouds. Yeah, it looks like wintertime at my house. <laughs> you see when you look out your door. <laughs> let me move my screen over here. I'm using two different monitors. Okay, <clears throat> so for the for the rotation report, I'll kind of explain what the rotation report uh, is used for first, and uh, then we'll show you how to use it. Uh, but first, the the uh, rotation report is basically designed to uh, uh, show fleets that have uh, trailers that go from distribution centers or different customer locations, um, and maybe it's different groups of trailers uh, that are supposed to be maintained within a certain uh, geographical location or, uh, or an area. Uh, so we, uh, we have one customer uh, that, uh, that I worked with to get this thing set up originally, and uh, they had a, a few distribution centers that were shared among uh, many different groups of trailers. So uh, there was a, a fleet that was kind of in the north, a fleet that was uh, mid-south, and uh, those two basically met in the middle at a certain distribution center. And occasionally, those trailers would uh, get picked up uh, and used by, you know, opposite, uh, uh, opposite ends of the, of the country. And uh, once that would happen, basically the trailers were, uh, you know, in a different rotation or being used or utilized by a different group of, uh, of people within the same company. And uh, so we set this up basically to identify those trailers and uh, to see if they are being utilized, if they're out of rotation, if they're in rotation, or if they're just sitting still. Um, so the first thing that you do um, is, is enter in your group. So, you know, if you're a person that is responsible for, let's say, 100 trailers, um, and then you've got somebody at a, at a different plant that's responsible for another 100, we can group those up based on the plant or based on the group. So here we're going to pick uh, one group of trailers. If you enter in the group, you do not have to enter in all of your trailer numbers. Obviously, all of those are housed within this particular group. Um, and then you pick the uh, landmarks that you know you control uh, at your facility. So we're going to pick a few of those landmarks um, on here and get those on the screen. And uh, then we're going to look at you know how far back do we want to go uh, to look and see if those are in rotation. So a lot of people are going to do this on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. Uh, for uh, this report, I'm going to basically run this for one week, so we'll go back one week. So it is uh, live data that, that will pop up, and uh, I'll explain what each one of these uh, uh, headings mean. So obviously, uh, we just pick one group uh, of trailers, and then we have our trailer numbers that are housed within each one of those groups. And uh, then you've got your company information next. The serial number of the tracking device that's on each one of those trailers, and then the next column tells us how many days um, in that seven-day period, or if you pick a 30-day period, uh, the aggregate number of days that the trailer sat still or sat idle. So in this uh, example, we've got one trailer here. Um, it sat for, I'm going to zoom in on my screen just a little bit, uh, it sat idle for five out of seven days, uh, the one below it, six out of seven, three out of seven, six out of seven, and so on. Uh, so that lets you know, um, you know, utilization of your trailer kind of all wrapped up in one. And then you've got your last uh, report date, which all of those are, are uh, reported current, so we know that we're not missing any information there. 
And uh, the last uh, or the next to last column here or category is uh, if your trailer is being underutilized, uh, if it's being uh, in rotation, if it's out of rotation, and uh, what, you know, what each one of those looks like. Uh, so I'll describe each one of these uh, categories that it falls under and maybe uh, how you would classify it or what you would do or an action item based on uh, the category. So an underutilized trailer uh, means that it hasn't, hasn't left, uh, you know, the geographical locations that, that you assigned up here uh, in these uh, location settings. So these trailers have uh, bounced uh, somewhat in between these facilities, but um, has it really been on the road enough so it's considered underutilized? So this would be a trailer um, that you would want to take action on and, and either uh, start allocating some freight hauls to that particular trailer or maybe allocate that trailer to a different uh, distribution center so you can get it in someone else's rotation and get it out of your group. Um, then the next category is out of rotation. So this is definitely going to identify either a trailer that has uh, not ever been back to any of these uh, locations that you picked up here uh, previously, um, or you've got that trailer uh, allocated to someone else and uh, it's moving around, but it really hasn't been utilized. In this case, we're going to look at the mileage at zero. Um, so this is probably a trailer that's been out of rotation. Um, it's moved up to someone else's uh, distribution center and they've kind of forgotten about it. Uh, so that's definitely one that you want to get some eyes on. Uh, of course, using some of the other reports that Lisa showed you, you can uh, find those geographical locations and locate the trailer and get it back. Um, but that is how are you going to pinpoint that one? Uh, what you really want to see on your report is a whole bunch of in rotation trailers, which means they're leaving these yards, they're entering the yards back and forth, and uh, you're getting all that information so you know the trailer is actually moving and making you money. Uh, we can also export this uh, report and it'll give you a little bit more information um, other than the mileage and the category. So right here, I'm gonna export this to uh, a spreadsheet real quick. And let me move this over. All right, so once I move this over, uh, it's actually going to list all of the uh, uh, geographical locations that each one of these trailers traveled to within that specified time frame. Uh, most of them have just been to this one distribution center, um, but then I've got this trailer. It's uh, entered and exited two different ones. Uh, I'm just going to scroll down my list. I don't really see any more, but uh, this will help you see, you know, how many locations that each particular trailer uh, is traveling or, or visiting within that specified amount of time. Um, also, you can you can start using this report, um, you know, for your collective mileage on your trailers. If you want to run that report for a longer specified time, um, you know, right here, we've got a seven-day, a 30-day, and then this month, there's also a custom range. Uh, so if we want to move this report back and uh, maybe take up a six-month window, so we can go from, uh, you know, February until today and run this report, and then you actually get, you know, a half a year's worth of gauging on these uh, these trailers. This also might identify uh, not only a trailer that you want to put in someone else's fleet rotation, but it may um, identify trailers that aren't being utilized at all. And uh, if they're not being utilized, this will help you pick out the trailers that you might could potentially sell and start saving on maintenance. Uh, on the other uh, end of it is uh, monitoring your mileage over, you know, a specified amount of time, let's say six months. Uh, it might identify high usage trailers, and uh, in that case, you would take those trailers and actually uh, do a PM on those more frequently and maybe mix in uh, some trailers that are having that medium uh, usage or utilization and, and even out your, uh, your uh, maintenance, on, maintenance schedule on those trailers so you're uh, wearing them down at more of an even scale. And that's it. Perfect. Please, I'll turn it back over to you. All right, thanks. Um, that's all we have uh, for today. It was just going to be a quick session. Um, so I uh, just wanted to go through all this, um, just give you guys a great way to uh, look through everything um, and uh, just get, a, I guess, a quick rundown of kind of what we're trying to do. So um, with that, I think we're going to end today's call and uh, we have it recorded. So we will save this out onto the, the UI um, so that way um, more customers can uh, take advantage. So. 
Uh, have a great weekend, and we'll see you in a month. Thanks.